What's up my friends, it's Edward, your Honda man. Just want to do this quick video, show you how to uh, pair your phone and what it's like with the uh, new 2014 Honda Civic EX and above models. So on all the models that are EX and above, you will get this capacitive touch screen. So let's go ahead and turn her on. Um, I do have the uh, key fob with me, so we'll go ahead and push the uh, engine start. Actually, this is my first time doing it, so hopefully this all goes well. Uh, but normally, uh, I'm sure it hasn't changed too much, uh, you'd want to go into your settings first, and then uh, make sure that your Bluetooth is discoverable. So while, while it's uh, discoverable, we'll go ahead and hit the home button. And we see here, you have the phone as an option. Would you like to pair a phone now? We'll put yes. Make sure your phone's discoverable. We'll put continue. Looks like iPhone is an option. And then just kind of on a side note, check out how uh, responsive that is. I barely have to touch it. So it's giving us the option to pair. Once we're paired, we're good to go. So that's how easy it is to pair it. I was able to do it on my first time. Granted, I do sell these cars. Um, but uh, look at that. Turn on Honda Link Assist. By the way, Honda Link Assist is basically, if you're familiar with uh, GM products, it's just like OnStar. If you do get in an accident... Would you like to turn on Honda Link Assist? In the event that a crash is detected, the vehicle will attempt to call emergency services using your Bluetooth phone. The vehicle cannot automatically contact emergency services if this feature is not turned on. So it gives you the option if you want to turn it on or not. So I guess we'll turn it on. Awesome. I guess it's just because if data rates, you know, apply, I mean, of course, they're going to give you the option. Okay. So it's just asking if we want to synchronize the phone. So now I have my speed dials, I have my call history, all the people I just called, or who called me. And it'll actually pull up the names of the people as well once it's all loaded in. But check out e how easy that was. You got your main menu here. Um, you got your home screen here. You have Honda Link Connect. Um, that's where you can connect an HDMI uh, cable down here uh, to your smartphone and you'll be able to use apps like uh, navigation and whatnot. Got your audio controls right here. Here's your volume control right here. Or you can uh, use the one on your steering wheel. <laughs> Alright, and it looks like you have your Bluetooth uh, reading right there as well go back home yeah I definitely gotta mess with this more so home looks like you have your info screen shows you your drive history so yeah just hope hope this video helped you um, I will do more I'll, I'll definitely uh, do a video of uh, pairing the HDMI cable uh, with my uh, iPhone 5 so again the iPhone 5 and above this will work with so uh, hopefully that helps you guys and uh, this helps you if you're kind of de determining if you want to save money go for the 2013 model or you know wait up for the 2014 model um, but check it out uh, if you want to see more definitely subscribe I will continue to do more point of view videos um, of the the upcoming Hondas so definitely subscribe if uh, you want to see more I'll catch you later bye for now